Isn't that just a lovely, lovely shade of green? Not too bright, not too garish, not quite too dull, just right. This hobby is guaranteed to make a liar out of you. I hate it when people start a sentence with the word so. So I started this year telling myself two things about my watch collection as I consolidated through 2024. The first was no more Seikos. And the second was smaller case sizes. So of course I bought the largest Seiko diver I can find the Seiko Sumo, but it's brilliant. And I'm going to give you six reasons why. Well, I have to say that I think if this was somebody else's video, someone else's review, and I was looking at this watch, I would want to go out and buy it. Hello, and welcome to the Perfect Wrist, otherwise known as the world of first world problems. My name is Paul, if you haven't been here before, it's all about my watch collecting journey, the pursuit of that one watch that just fits perfectly on the wrist. This YouTube channel will last forever because that's an endless quest. Well, the first gobsmacking reason I would wholly recommend this watch is the actual design. Taking a look through the classic ancestry of Seiko dive watches, you can see that a certain design aesthetic appeared in 1968 with the 6159. A design which was immortalized further in 2000 with the Marine Master 300 meters, the SBDX001, very sought after now, and further evolutions of the Marine Master from 2015 up to current times, all sharing a very similar design. And I would say that this watch, the Sumo, is very, very close to those designs for a fraction of the cost. Oh, by the way, can you just, um, if you like these videos, can you just subscribe and like and share the videos? It takes a few seconds, costs nothing, but it does help the channel. Thanks. The second is simply the bang for buck, the price of this watch. Still, even now in 2024, you can see in this sample online, a lot of the top quality Seiko divers, the, the Marine Master 300, um, some of the reissues, the 1965, the interpretations, they are going for one, two, three thousand pounds. This watch, retail through one or two dealers, you can still find under six hundred pounds. That's the bang for buck. Everything you get for the for the price being asked for this watch. The third reason is quite simply the case design. Seiko do this with their case designs, and that's why. We just keep coming back for more. They get it right every time. I've actually been staggered by the case design on this watch. The Seiko have gone to extreme lengths with this. I like the way that the bezel is sculpted so it falls away very slightly from the crystal. Slight drop but sinks in with the rehaul there. And then there's the actual bezel itself. It doesn't just sit on top of the case. It's, it has a, almost like a, a little cupcake shape to it. So it sinks down, it, it is sloped and it's sat within the case. So you can grab these bits here, but as you rotate the watch, it's protected and the lugs rise around it. That's quite some engineering, that. 
There's not many watches have that. If you look at the side profile, that shape just hugs the wrist beautifully. This is a large watch. It's a large watch. It's heavy. It doesn't feel too heavy on the wrist. The lug to lug is over 51 mil. It's 43 and a half mil wide, but it's only 12.9, 13 I measure it, mil thick, which isn't thick for such a big watch. If you look at the case shape, it's, it sinks in towards the wrist, which lends itself quite easily to the next reason that I went for this watch, which is simply the wearability. Seiko just knock it out of the park with their wearability on their dive watches. Which actually gives the wrist a lot of movement because there's a slope inwards underneath that case. You can do all sorts of things with the, the wrist and it stays neat and tight on the wrist and quite snug. And believe it or not, if you have a reasonably tight fit for such a large, heavyish watch, it doesn't feel heavy. You hardly feel you've got it on. For the price, I've been quite staggered by the finish on this. Just having a look at the various elements, not only is the colour fantastic, they've, they've used the perfect forest green on this dial, but if you look at the case itself, you have high polish to the top of the case size side, and then a very thin machined brushed edging back down to polish, moving to the upper surfaces of the watch. You can see you've still you've got your curved polished top layer there to the case side leading onto a brushed element on the top of the lugs the lugs are then more complex than that they sink in towards the bezel with a small polished edge there that is very unlikely to get scratched because you're not going to come into contact with that it integrates well with the bracelet and the bracelet is decent brushed with tiny highlights of polishing on the mid links this watch also represents one of the cheaper ways to get into the 6r35 movement my king seiko has that for double the price of this and those movements they're reasonable they're not great they are a step up from the 4r movements 70 hour power reserve and as long as you keep them fully wound, they can be reasonably accurate. But there aren't many Seikos, there's the Alpinists now, at this price level, that have the 6R35 movement. We've got the screw down crown. 200 meters of water resistance. The great wave there on the case back, as with most Seiko divers, solid screw down case back. And the loom, as with all Seikos, is exceptional. If you were looking for an authentic Seiko diver, with all the hallmarks of the much more expensive Marine Master for what is actually a slightly smaller size, believe it or not, because this is still big, I don't think it would go much better than the uh, Seiko Sumo. I've been very, very impressed by that overall case design, the work and effort that's gone into that particularly at this price point. The 
thanks for staying till the end if you did. Uh, I do have playlists on my channel now if you want to have a look at that and perhaps subscribe. I've got a Seiko binge list. This video will be getting added to that. I've also got a, a, a watch collecting as a hobby playlist with various thoughts and, and things about watch collecting and the watch market, another playlist. Uh, take care until next time. I'll see you then.